And we back. Yesterday, Donovan Mitchell got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Basically out of nowhere. We knew he was about to get traded. We thought it was going to be the New York Knicks. But instead, he's going to spend the next couple years of his career in Cleveland. And right now, Cleveland is looking kind of bright. They got 21-year-old Darius Garland, 20-year-old-ish um, Evan Mobley, I, I don't really know how old these people are. I just know they're young. And Donovan Mitchell is about to turn 26. They got this young core. And I want to see if this was the right move according to 2K22. Because they gave up Ote Abazi, Larry Market, and Colin Sexton. Three first round picks, two swaps, a whole plethora of assets. And if you ain't going to win a championship over the next, I don't know how many years are going to be together, then was it really worth it? We about to find out. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you want to hear my full opinion about the trade, I'll drop the video over on my Kenny For Real channel. Uh, go watch that if you want to. I don't know. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. If you're ever in the need for tickets, SeatGeek is the way to go because they take tickets from all over the internet and put them in one place for you. Use code Kenny at checkout and they give you $20 off your first ticket purchases. SeatGeek makes it super, super simple. I'm going to show you how easy it can be. Um, I found out the Chicago Bulls are playing a preseason game on my birthday. So you know we got to pull up Chicago Bulls. You type in the team you want to see. You find the game, in this case, October 4th versus the Pelicans. Zion in the UC, one of his first games back, I got to be there. And you go see there's a lot of different options here. Green means good deals. Red means not so good deals. So I'm definitely going for green. I mean, it tells you right here the best deal they got available is this $168 and section 122 and uh that looks like an elite place to be sitting to watch zion lose ball season is here baseball season is underway the WNBA playoffs is here they got concerts if you need tickets sea geek is the way so hit that link in the description and use code kenny at checkout so you can get 20 dollars off your first purchase i want to say thank you to sea geek again for sponsoring another video 2k wants to start ricky rubio over all-star darius garland i'm not gonna let that happen obviously let's take some of these minutes away because even though Ricky Rubio was really good for them last year. He wasn't good enough to take minutes away from Tan right here. Okay, so the team looks solid. Ice Kokoro starting in the moment. It could be Karis LeVert once the video, once the uh, the season starts. I don't really know. We're just gonna go strictly off of 2K. They got a young, nice team. We run in the 10 man, but I'm gonna be honest with you. We can run a nine. Robin Lopez is brought into the team, but we already got Kevin Love come off the bench. I would rather play Dean, pay, uh, play Dean Wade over Robin Lopez. We even got How Neto, who are probably going to play a lot of backup point guard minutes because in real life, Ricky Rubio is going to be out for some time because he tore his ACL or whatever. Either way, this is a no injury zone. I'm giving minutes to my four, three, three all-stars plus a possible. Um, and we're about to see how good this team could potentially be. I'm super excited for this one. He got his number 45. I just want to make sure he did because I didn't want this to look weird. Because sometimes you trade a player to a team and they immediately get a weird number. First game of the season versus John Moran, the Memphis Grizzlies, and they lose. Uh, Dylan Brooks out of nowhere. I guess not out of nowhere. Dylan Brooks, we have games like this every once in a while. But the first game of Donovan Mitchell's career didn't really go his plan. He only scored 15 points. He shot 4 for 6, four for 16, 6 for 14. You see, I said 4 for 16. That's the dyslexia. Killing my brain i think a lot of people agree that this trade probably doesn't make them championship contenders right now but at the end of the day they should at least be a playoff team 2k oh what's going on this team is built for future success where darius garland jumps up and overall where evan mobley jumps up to uh the next greatest player of all. i don't know how good he's gonna be but he looks really good so this trade wasn't necessarily built for the now i also don't want complete control do i i mean i'm gonna this trade is crazy ridiculous um, but I don't want full control. I want them to be able to make the trades if they want to. Through the first get three games of his career, uh, the points per game has dropped. It just makes sense. He's got more offensive weapons than he's ever had before, I guess. I don't know. Starting off 1-3 and three is crazy. But look at the teams. Oh, well. Never mind. I was going to say look at the teams we lost to. We lost to Jalen McDaniels. Not Jada, but Jalen McDaniels. 22 points. Okay, MIP. Never mind. You're shooting 37% from the field. But I do want to make sure that we don't have a say in the overall trades. Um, if they wanted to trade Jared Allen for Desmond Bain, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for either of the squads, but if you wanted to do it, so be it. Even though, you know what? I do want to have approval though. I will say that. I want to at least, not, not that. Where is it? I, I at least want to see them go through. Because if they try to trade one of the big four, oh my God, win a game. Growing pains. It's growing pains. It's growing pains. Um, if they want to trade one of the big four, I'm not going to say I'm going to stop them, but I got to see it happening. You know, if you want some rhythm... 
you know to go against. Oh, that's 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 not me being anti uh, anti Lakers. I'm just talking. But Donovan Mitchell put a 42. Jared Allen almost had a triple double. Uh, Darius Garland did his thing. Evan Mobley. So they're big four. We talking 20 points, 41 points, 64 points, 107 points between their top four players. That's elite. And I just did that quick math. And I might be wrong, but it is what it is. Okay, Donovan Mitchell starting to come around as far as averaging 20 plus points, which is great. And now we simulate. Okay, we can do a fast simulation again. We're going to be here as long as they're together. So I don't know how many years are left on Donovan Mitchell's contract. Uh, four years? Is that real? Does he really have four years left? Oh my God. He's under contract through 2026. So that's a long time. That's, that's what that is. Okay. Well, we're here until they're no longer together. And when I say they're no longer together, I'm, I'm mostly saying to Donovan Mitchell because this video is not about Donovan Mitchell and not about Evan Mobley and not about Darius Garland or not about Jared Allen, but it's about Donovan Mitchell spending the next four years of his career in Cleveland. Um, I'm going to continue to simulate, but they are the one seed. I said they weren't supposed to jump completely into championship contention off the back, but after a slow start, 2K saying they like that. All right, Jokic goes back to back to back. Chet wins rookie of the year in this universe. He has not got traded, which is probably the best timeline imaginable, man. Get well soon. Robert Woods was sixth man of the year. Uh, I don't know. That is about, I don't know who's playing above him. They didn't make any trades. So that means something about their current roster has him playing behind. I, I, I don't know. My only guess is that Tatum is a four. He's not even a four. I don't know what's going over it over, on in there uh, in Boston. I hope it works out for him. But actually, I don't. Whoa. I don't hope it worked out because we're going against them. But D'Angelo Russell is back to all-star form, and he just made an all-NBA appearance averaging about 20 and 8, 21 and 8. Shooting splits look elite. Shout out to him. We didn't get anybody. We didn't get a single person. That's fine. That's 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 completely okay. We were the two seed. I'm very interested in what's going on in Boston. I know it's not super relevant, but I'm just I'm just curious of what the heck is going on. Gallinari is starting over Robert Williams. Got you, got you, got you. Kind of forgot that Gallinari's on the team. Get well soon, by the way. Heard he got injured in Eurobasket a couple days ago. First round is not going to be easy because we're going against Kyrie, Seth Curry, Ben. They got Montrezl Harrell out of free agency, but they were the seventh seed, so they had to win their way to even be in this spot. But they are a good team. They got talent. So let's see. Game one is a Cleveland Cavaliers win, and Donovan Mitchell showcases why. You know, he's one of the better um, playoff players in all the basketball. Game two, maybe not as much, but that's why we got Jared Allen. I saw Montrezl Harrell down there. Jared Allen saw Montrezl Harrell down there, and he decided he wanted to take off every once in a while. It's a 2-2 series, though. 3-2 Cavs. And just like that, we're out of the first round to go against the defending conference champs. You see, at the, now they got Greg Williams starting. They just doing whatever they can to not start Robert Williams. Um, it's a good team, but they're the six seed. They just beat the three seed though, so we can't underestimate them. And like I said, they were just in the conference finals, and now they're completely healthy. Uh, we win two, make that three, sweep, sweep, sweep. No sweep, but in five, in five conference finals, two against the eight seed, the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know how y'all fell all the way down to eight, probably because y'all starting Daniel House and DeAnthony Melton over Tyrese Maxey, who won six man of the year, I guess, and PJ Tucker's not starting. That's not great either. But they did beat Toronto, who were the one seed, and they did beat the Milwaukee Bucks. So they got some some heat over there, obviously, with Joel Embiid um, and James Harden. We lost home court advantage. It is a 3-1 series. I, I mean, the, the, the 76 are contenders. The, you know, I don't know how they ended up at the 8 seed, but they are a contending basketball team. So I'm not surprised they were losing right now. Um, but, man, we had all the advantage, home court and everything. Uh, we had James Harden have a terrible game. Three for 19, one for 10? Give me another one of those. Who we got on him? Isaac Okoro? Isaac Okoro must have had that boy on clank, clank, clanks. All right. We win this one. We back in the series, man. You win this, you're back in the series. It is a close one. And it looks like the boys force a game seven back in Quicken Loans Arena. I think it's the name of it, but I'm not going to fact check it. I was there for All-Star. It was fun. It was cold, but it was f Okay. Season over. Uh, fun while I lasted. You know, like I said, we didn't go into it thinking we were going to be a championship team this year. We got to the conference finals. We might have disappointed some people by losing to the eight seed, but that eight seed just won a championship. So what, what can you really say? I think the next thing for this team is to go out there and somehow use that mid-level exception to get another wing, a big body wing that can defend and also see 
how good Darius Garland becomes, how good Evan Mobley and all of these guys become. Um, Evan Mobley jumps up a ton. Kevin Love is dropping, which makes sense. And these other guys are kind of old. We got Jermichael Green and stuff like that. But our core guys, the young core guys, got a lot better. Darius Garland now, the bona fide best player on the roster. Evan Mobley not too far behind. So the team is looking good. Emo got to take more shots this season. That's the next thing we got to do. But the team looks better strictly based on progression. And I think that's going to be the case in real life. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna need Emo to get better and better and better. And I, I really see that in this, in this future. So this is what they want the rotation to look like. Honestly, they're probably better running a nine now that it's Jermichael Green down there because Kevin Love can run to back of five. Yeah, they, they got they got everything you really need because even Jetty can run to back of four. They got a back of one. I would love to see this team uh, make another trade. I don't. I guess they really don't have that much to trade potentially, but I feel like they're missing a bench piece, a guy that could just light it up. Like last year, Kevin Love averaged 12 and his per 36 looked really good. But usually you want that off the bench score to be a guard. But what do I know? I'm just a guy that plays 2K. Uh, Jokic is just um, in, in a whole nother stratosphere, it looks like. Uh, okay, what else do we care about? Six man of the year, Clint Capella. Yep. Jeremy wins most approved player. And we were the one seed with 60 total wins. But will Cleveland get an all-NBA player? Three all-NBA appearances. Everybody but... Donovan, DG averages 19 and 9, 50, 40, 90. Evan Mobley averages 20 and 10. Yeah, Jared Allen, 18 and 12 with two blocks. Donovan Mitchell's the worst out of the four. What just happened to my league? What just happened to my league? Did I accidentally approve something that I... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't there something that I can see? Bro, this is wild. I could have swore their league history, rule change history. Why the heck was that enabled? Oh my God. Well, looks like we're going against Donovan Mitchell's old team in the first round. <laughs> and the fact that they even made the playoffs is insane. Look at that team. Kyle Sexton must be averaging 60. Um, Yeah, so this doesn't count for anything. Unless they win the championship, and then in that case it does. But like... Are we serious, man? I, that's all That's all on me. I can't blame nobody but myself and Ronnie. Ronnie, actually, Ronnie, it's your fault. I, if, if Ronnie, for even having that in the game in the first place. If we get eliminated by the Utah Jazz of all teams just one year after the big trades, no way. No way. Oh, this this was a throwaway year, bro. The lot right? Oh, this is a throwaway year, bro. No, no offense much about it. If we were just in the Eastern Conference, we would have been... We lost to the Jazz, who are supposed to be tanking. Hear me, hear that again. We lost in the playoffs to the Utah Jazz, who are supposed to be tanking. That's, that's depressing. Danny Ainge and them got the last laugh. Because I mean, I didn't look at their entire roster, but they got so many draft picks. I mean, they probably had a, a young rookie in that month. Uh, actually, no, this was their rookie. 28th overall pick. Oh, so they, they actually made the playoffs last year, too, and I just didn't even peep. Somehow, Utah continues to be a playoff team, even when they're they not even trying to be that. We got eliminated by them. That 60-win season that we were so excited about means nothing. And J.B. Bickerstaff got to be on the hot seat. There's no way you win, a, you win 60 games, you have three All-NBA players, and you get eliminated in the first round. It's got to be a first. I, I can't confirm, but that got to be a first. Good sign. Isaac Coro, though, is becoming a really good three-point shooter. Well, he shot 32% last season, but his overall three-point rating is an 86. Like, that's really good for what we need as an organization. Donovan Mitchell's just been cool, even kill, 88 overall. Um, Evan Mobley's got the 90 overall club, and Darius Garland just hits that. And Jared Allen. I, I would be super mad if I'm this core, though. The first year... Oh, Evan Fournier's on the team now. Look at that. The first year... You know, it is it is what it is, right? Garland Arby's on the team, but he's old. It is what it is. It's our first year playing together. We make it all the way to the conference finals. Now you got expectations on you. And to eliminate in the, get eliminated in the first round to a Western Conference team while you're in the Eastern Conference, that's terrible. It's unrealistic and it never would happen for real. But, like, it's terrible. Um, The new bench, though. The new bench sees uh, Devon Reed, who at this point in his career is still not a great scorer. Evan Fournier, who's older at 77 overall and 31 years old, but he can still shoot a little bit. K 
Kevin Love, again, older, 36 years old, but can still shoot it quite a bit and probably still a plus rebounder. Not the deepest team, but it ain't it ain't bad either. You know, Ricky Rubio's still on the roster. We got a lot of foreign-born players off that bench, which is dope. All right, year three together. Now, year three together got to be the one. MVP is easy for Nikola Jokic at this point. Now, he ain't on oh, Nikola Jovic when six minutes a year. They, they ain't won no championships over there, so it's like, does it really matter? We lost one more game than we did last year, but we don't we don't care about the regular season anymore. It's at that point, you know what I'm saying? Once you got regular season success, you're looking for that postseason success, right? Um, all NBA team still sees Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, which is dope. Tyrese Halliburton is here. Zion is here. Chad is here. So some new faces and names in here. Uh, but can we do it? We back to East versus West. That's beautiful. First round, the Washington Wizards have, they do not have Bradley Beal. Unless he's so old that he just doesn't start anymore. Because I guess that's a possibility. We are like four years. Oh, no, three years down the line here. So let's quickly take a look at Bradley Beal. Um, I guess I approved the trade. Or whatever. We ain't got to play this Bradley Beal right now. I'll take that. I mean, I'll take that. You know, the best player we got to see is Denny Abdia. Kristaps Porzingis? Yeah, I'm surprised y'all even made it this far. Congratulations on a successful season. But it's over with in four. Okay, maybe in five. Boston Celtics. All right. Uh, we beat y'all before. I think we can do it again. This time, Robert Williams is starting because I'm guessing Al Horford is so old that he probably not even in rotation anymore. Game one is a win. Is he in a rotation? Oh, he's not even on the team, it looks like. Which bridges? It's Mikhail. Ooh, big trade. I guess I just be approving stuff without even really looking to see what it is. Game two is a win for the Cleveland Cavaliers as well. Donovan Mitchell. Playoff performer, put that on his resume. It's a big win to maintain home court advantage. 3 0, back to the conference finals. Yes, and this time it is against the Toronto Raptors, who don't have Fred Van Vliet, who just won an NBA Finals MVP like two seasons ago. But instead, it's Jalen Noel as a starting point guard. Gary Trent Jr., O. John Anobi, Pascal, and Scotty Barnes. They look solid, but the Jalen Noel at the one thing is throwing me off. I, I mean, I can't. I can't really respect it at this point. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really showed me nothing. They don't have a true point guard. Jalen Noel is like taking a position that he can do, but he doesn't do. So I feel okay. The bench don't... Oh, they got Jetty Osmond. No, the bench don't even look good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, they got a bunch of centers playing. They got a bunch of centers playing. So we also got some good centers. So we'll see how it goes. Game one, Donovan Mitchell steps up. Also, Emope is that guy. Game two, Donovan Mitchell game? Not necessarily. It was a uh, Darius Garland game and a Jared Allen game. Game three. Oh, the boys might get to the finals. Not my game. When you go up 3-0, you don't lose those. Cleveland is going back to the finals. <laughs> Imagine if they would have lost that game too. Cleveland's going back to the finals. First finals appearance since LeBron or without LeBron in the last 20-something years. And they're going against a studded, star-studded team. Chet just won Defensive Player of the Year. Shea is a 94. Josh Giddey's a 96. They got Dylan Brooks and Isaac Crow. They kind of cancel each other out. And then we got um, Lloyd, whoever that is, at the five. This is a really, really good team. I got to see what that bench looking like, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we have the advantage or they have the advantage over at that bench. I got to see what's up. Backup point guard, Trey Mann, is, is really good. Backup shooter guard, Jay Lewis, is really good. Backup small forward, Lou Dort and Usman Dang, really good. Poku and Baisley, oh, they're a deep roster, ladies and gentlemen. They were the sixth seed, though. Game one, it's a Cavaliers win. Okay, all right, and it was a convincing one too. Defensive player of the year, where are you at? With your zero block, zero steals. My big man did that thing. Game two, is the Cleveland Cavaliers win? Yeah, I mean, you had some blocks this time around, defensive player of the year, but guess what? It didn't matter because Jared Allen with a 16, I'm sorry, 26-17 game, emo, but also a double-double. Are these boys gonna win it? It's, oh. I did not want to simulate the entire thing. I, I was enjoying going game by game. But they win it in six. And who else but Donovan Mitchell wins finals MVP? 30 points per. About six assists. About five rebounds. He shot 59% from the field and 46% from three in these uh, six-game series. So, Dono was the man. And this is why you pay him. Regular season, cool. Postseason, elite. That's why you give him the big bucks. And that's why you traded the entirety of your future for that. Um, we also extended Darius Garland again, Evan Mobley. Okay. I mean, hey, two years left on Donovan Mitchell's contract. 
but he is extremely loyal. Once the season's over, he won a new contract. So we might be here for another 10 years. This might be a full career sim of Donovan Mitchell completing his career here with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I wouldn't even be mad at it. Sheesh. Um, the owner or GM of the Pacers a couple days ago said he wanted Tyrese Halliburton to be um, Reggie Miller for them. Reggie Miller never won a, a most improved, most valuable player award. So he's more than that. 28, 10, and 5 is insane. Almost 50, 40, 90 shooting splits. Sabonis plays for the Spurs, and he is the sixth man of the year. Uh, we were not the one seed this year. Something to keep in mind. Uh, we didn't have any All-NBA players. Another thing to keep in mind. Are they sleeping? We do got All-Defensive Team Evan Mobley. Are they sleeping on the defending champions? We're about to find out as we are the two seed going against the Boston Celtics for like the fifth time in this video. The core is still in intact. They're going to be running this way for as long as they're uh, uh, healthy which is all the time here because we're in a world where health is is guaranteed. Um, you can't see this, but it is a 3-3 series right now. And I refuse to look at the four years you've been in the playoffs or five years you've been in the playoffs and see us get eliminated as the higher seed in the first round two times. But it like that's what's happening. Huh. Donovan Mitchell, sheesh. Did we pay you? Hold on, did we pay you yet? I think that's a yes. We just extended that contract. Um, that's a terrible playoff series for one of my top guys. I mean, I'm assuming that a lot of people have bad playoff series. Darius Garland, well, kind of stats say Darius Garland was solid. Ice Kokoro, Evan Mobley. I mean, I, there's no one singular player. That's the reason why we lost. But, like, we rely on Donovan Mitchell quite a bit. If you to average 19 points per game on 37-21 shooting splits, not that great, especially for um, a proven playoff player. It's probably the worst series he's ever had in his career. The Raptors get their third championship in franchise history, third in the last I don't know how many years. Kevin Love is starting to retire. I'm going to let him go on off. He's on, he didn't have any more uh, years left on his contract anyway. Uh, but it was great, Kev, to help you, for you to help this city get two championships. We got nothing but love for you. And honestly, they didn't retire his jersey. Wait, no, there's still a chance. Retire Kevin Love's jersey right now. They did it. Kevin Love, does, if they get another championship with Kevin Love on the roster, even if he is a backup, he deserves to get his number retired. Guaranteed, in my personal opinion. If you're wondering how the Jazz were doing, um, I just decided to look at their roster, and, and I see that they have Jabari Smith Jr., who didn't get a second contract with the Houston Rockets, even though he's a 96 overall at this point. And they also signed Jason Tatum out of free agency. So they uh, cashed in all their chips. Uh, but actually, no, because they still got a lot of draft picks. Those were signings. I don't know how the Rockets don't bring him back. Uh, they got Scotty Barnes, so they let him walk. I His team is poorly ran right now. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know that. So, okay. Right? No big deal. We didn't win a championship. Actually, we got eliminated in the first round again. I said the Rockets were a poorly ran team, bro. They was one game away. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Who is L. Ross? I mean, I mean, he only averaged 14 on the regular season. Got into the finals in the game seven and put up the best game of his career. We got eliminated in the first round for the second time, third time in this video, second year in a row. So, you know, we may never win another championship, which would be fine. I want y'all to realize that. Ooh, big decisions. Jared Allen, free agent. Um, it, it would be fine if we never won. In my personal opinion, getting a championship is worth almost everything. You know what I'm saying? If the Bulls traded every pick for the last next 10 years, and Zach Levine, and DeMar DeRozan, and everything we wanted, but we got back a real championship, do it 100% of the time. And that's how I'm thinking about this Cavs roster. They may never get out of the first round again at this point. But guess what? Trey was worth it because we got to the finals. And the guy we spent all of that money on, all of those assets on, was the finals MVP. That's a dub. We ain't we Cleveland. We ain't won a championship without Braun. We just did that. That's how I think they're looking at it. Uh, Jared Allen is back. Look at that. And Donovan Mitchell hasn't regressed at all. He's still he's still an 88, which is dope. The core is intact. They're a little bit older, but the core is intact. Darius Garland, are you coming back? He's extremely loyal. Ready to sign an extension today. So the core will be together, which is dope. Well, Donovan Mitchell's on the last year of his deal, so maybe we'll go one more season. And if he doesn't resign, that's it. 
I think we, we get one last run, one last um dance, if you will. The, the last dance of Cleveland. Is this really the last dance? Dale and Terry, six man of the year. Look at that. We're about to find out. Uh, we have the one C once again. Cleveland Cavaliers, no all NBA players. That's completely okay. Defensive team, we always gonna have E Mob there because that boy, that, that brother defends. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Maybe the last year they're all together. We're about to see Atlanta Hawks in the first round. Um, we saw that Trey Young was on their team, but he was a lot worse. Is he still there? No, he's gone. All right, but Jaden Ivey is on the team. Don't ask how. We are in 2028, technically in 2029. Don't ask me anything about nothing, all right? I'm going to tell you, I don't know. Uh, we're better. Frankly, looking at the one, <laughs> you know how that goes. I was quite, oh, I was going to say, well, I was going to say, Donovan, okay, all right. Um, Cam Radish, Lou Dort, look at us. Cameron Payne, look at us. Isaac Curl still bad, though. He, I mean, in the regular season, he shot 43% from three. That's elite for Isaac Okoro. If they could get that version of him somewhere down the line, oh man, they're going to be unstoppable. Because Isaac Okoro is going to be the most open man of any basketball team next season because nobody's going to trust him. But if he can shoot that good, oh, that team is about to be dangerous. Now, we're going against the three-time MVP, Jeremy Sohan Sochan. Uh, let's see if we can get out of that. The answer is absolutely not. He's going against his former team, the Spurs. And Jeremy, the Spurs, didn't they just have three first round picks in their lineup like two years ago i, I don't know what's going on in this uh simulation ladies and gentlemen it's kind of insane um and none of those guys are even like good rex fox it was really like i don't know how this team even made it that far Devin of a sale 11 points 14 points 15 points 17 points 11 points like i thought this was gordon hayward definitely looks a lot different than the gordon hayward i know is this the last hurrah for this roster? Was, um, and I just forgot the record and outro. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, bye.